Hello, dear student. Welcome to Rio classes. Day one of our most demanded course on spoken English. So this course is all about how to speak fluent English without any difficulty. So let's speak in English. Before further discussion, please subscribe to our channel, share with your friends as much as you can, right? So in previous class, we have discussed about the five basic rules to know. Those are, don't study too much grammar, learn the study phrases, read and listening is not enough, you need to practice what you hear, submerge yourself, study the correct material. In this rule, Today we'll go with the second rule that is learn and study the phrases. My dear students, if you learn the phrases, if you study the more phrases, definitely it's going to make you out to speak fluent English. So let's see what and all we have in the phrases. In English speaking basics, we have a section where around we have basic phrases to be uh, discussed. So this section is created for English speaking beginners, all right, who need help to understand the basics of speaking English. So we will use a simple phrases and expression to help you with your English speaking basics. So let's start. So there are around 90 lessons in the English speaking basic section. Once you complete this, we'll go for the next category where we are going to discuss regular english lessons so guys here we have some of the important english ba english basic lessons right so english speaking basic section one so guys here uh, in this section will help you to understand the basics of english we'll use very simple phrase expression to help you with your english speaking all right so this first section has 30 lessons Right. So in this lesson, we have first section one. We have thirty lessons. We'll discuss one by one. So here we have thirty lessons that needs to be discussed. Have a look here. Yes, basic usage of I am, I am in, I am at, I am good at, I am plus verb, I am getting, I am trying, I am going to, I have, I have plus past, I used to, I have to. All right. I wanna. I'm going to, I would like to, I plan to, I have decided to, I was about to, I didn't mean to, right? In the same time, I don't have time to, I promise not to, I would rather, I feel like, similarly, we have total 29 lessons here. So we'll discuss this one by one in detail. So guys, let's start the first basic usage of I am. basic usage of I am when we use the word I am with combining other word you're telling something about yourself or describing something you are doing getting a point so I am is the very important because if you want to speak English you have to use this word I am so many times what happens here you are telling you are describing, you are telling someone that what you are doing. So some of the examples of I am are, just have a look here. I am so tired. I am confused. I am happy. I am 23 year old. I am hungry. I am nervous. Right? I am excited. I am leaving the work. I am thirsty. I am from Bangalore. I am a lawyer. I am a teacher. I am your friend. I'm blind, I'm your cousin, I'm his cousin, I'm a biker. You can use so many words. So guys, whenever we use the word I am plus word, you are telling someone what you are. So very important. It's now, next is, it's your turn to make at least 15 sentence on it. Understood? So I am is word, it is going to use, describe what you are doing here. All right? So now, do it yourself you need to make it around 15 to 10 sentences 15 to 20 sentences all right and please comment in the comment box definitely guys i'll respond to you personally so one is done now i am is over next 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव आई एम इन आई एम एट आई एम ऑन सो लेट्स सी व्हाट एंड ऑल हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इट आई एम इन टुडे वी विल डस्ट लर्न इज फर्स्ट आई एम इन व्हेनेवर वी यूज आई एम इन राइट यू आर एंटरिंग अ फिजिकल लोकेशन सच एज अ रूम और बिल्डिंग व्हेनेवर वी यूज आई एम इन दैट मींस यू आर एंटरिंग अ फिजिकल लोकेशन इट मे बी अ बिल्डिंग और इट मे बी अ रूम एग्जांपल यू कैन से दैट आई एम इन अ रूम राइट यू कैन से दैट आई एम इन अ शावर राइट आई एम इन अ हाउस आई एम इन अ कार आई एम इन अ लॉबी राइट आई एम इन अ स्कूल so there are so many sentences you can say that i am in a bathroom you can say that because it's physical location right i am in a kitchen so whenever we use word in you are telling about a physical location you are entering right so similarly i am in a office you can say all these so now you have to make between sentences out of this and you have to next comes i am at i am in says the physical location like a room or it is a closed room but whenever we use the i am at remember whenever you use the i am at helps tell someone where you are currently the difference between at and in is that only the physical location in general got a point so here we have i am at some of the example i am at a grocery i am at a shop i am at a mall i am at a hospital i am at a park i am at a airport so these are the words these are the phrases we use for regular you know whenever we use the at i am at a bank you can say that all right so i am at a ground i am at the ground i am at the exhibition you can say that so guys so common uh, difference between i am at and i am in we can use it interchangeably is that so we can use the uh, so in some cases you can use at and in interchangeably means same time you can use it example i'm at mall i'm at the i'm at the mall i'm in the mall all right i'm at the park i'm in the park i'm at the grocery i am in the grocery so you can use it so some of the phrases we use uh, interchangeably whenever it's in or at right so now guys next is i am on remember whenever you are using the word on with i am right referring to non physical location such as being utilized by something using means i am on the phone i am on the laptop i am on the phone i am on the laptop working right you can say so many examples here so i am on the phone i am on the computer i am on the bus you can say i am in the bus i am on the bike going to the office so these are the sentences you have to make is these are the phrases you have to speak while using the i am on something is utilizing i am on the stage performing all right all right you can say that so guys now it's your job to make at least 15 sentences all right you need to make 15 sentences to 20 phrases and please comment in the comment box next comes next comes is i am good at next word is i am good at so i am good at inform someone what you are excellent right and or you can say what you are doing comfortably so whenever we use the word i am good at mean in which you are comfortable in which you are excellent so guys we use this word uh, so many times in our life but in english we use this word as i am good at i am good at teaching i am good at running you can say that right so i am good at we use here some of the examples just have a look here i am good at drawing you can say i am good at playing the video games i am good at swimming all right i am good at driving cars i am good at reading i am good at sports i am good at writing you can say i am good at maths similarly i am good at dancing i am good at chess similarly guys there is a big list where you are good at you have to write make a list and you have to write it in the comment box so whenever we use the good at that means remember one thing you are excellent doing that work 
doing that thing or performing right if you are doing something if you are comfortable with that you can use it i am good at similarly there are so many other sentences i am good at making the friends right i am good at chatting i am good at responding i am good at fighting i am good at counting the notes you can use it so many times as much as you can all right so next is that you need to make 15 to 20 sentences of yours phrases of yours definitely and please comment on the comment box definitely guys i'll respond if there is anything wrong it's your responsibility now so let's we'll go for the next part next part is that i am plus work you know that right i am plus work i am when you adding the work you are expressing your expression an action or occurrence about yourself what you are doing i am plus verb verb is nothing but you are explaining here what you are doing so let's see what and all we can have here you can say some of the examples of i am plus verb is i am eating a lunch okay i am brushing my teeth i am scared right i am driving to the work i am crying yeah what you're doing that's what i'm typing an email in the same time guys i'm cooking a dinner i'm combing my hair you can say that i'm hanging a picture i'm messaging right i'm dancing i'm interested in the job i'm exercising yes you can say that i'm sad i'm learning so guys whenever we use the word i am plus word you are telling that what you are doing presently remember what presently you are doing so you have to use the here uh, ing maximum time i'm crying i'm scared i'm driving you can use that so remember one thing uh, first is that whenever we use i am plus word this lets you express an action or occurrence about yourself remember yourself what you are doing what is your action how it is performing that and all you are discussing here all right so going for the next before going for the next uh i just wanted to like the video all right share with your friends as much as you can all right and and comment box is open my dear student you have to comment all the phrases you made it from your side so it, now it's your turn to make at least 15 to 20 phrases in the comment box i'll personally respond to your comments so next phrase is i am getting guys you know that right these are the very important basic english you know where you have to learn it once you are familiar perfect or uh, very much comfortable with these uh, phrases i'm sure you can speak proper english so next we have i am getting i am getting so guys whenever you use the word i am getting i am and you are adding the word getting telling someone you are getting something you are gaining possession or you are becoming an owner right you can say that or you are going to be affected being affected or you can say have plans to seek out so i am getting whenever you use we are having something i'm getting headache i'm getting getting toothache i'm getting headache i'm getting toothache right i'm getting tired i'm getting bored there are so many sentences we can make it there are so many phrases we can make it just have a look we have made some uh examples here i'm eating lunch you can say that but i'm getting lunch also there i'm getting better i'm getting better now i'm feeling better i'm getting better i'm getting ready for the bed i'm getting ready for the function i'm getting toothache oh my god i'm having toothache i need to find a dentist i'm getting cold I'm not it is because of this rainy season and a rainy season. I'm getting cold. I'm not able to speak properly. I'm getting married. Exactly. I'm getting married on the next year. I'm getting tired. I'm getting sick of it. I'm getting tired. I'm getting good at reading. Yeah, I'm trying to understand what you're saying. You can say that I am getting a new car on my birthday. I'm getting a job. Right? I'm getting a puppy. So you can say so many words. I'm getting a, uh, I'm getting a necklace. I'm getting a good gift, right? 
there's so many uh, sentences we can make on this i am getting so these are the sentences which are very much useful so whenever we use i am getting you are telling what you are getting possession right you can say that so guys next is your turn you need to make 15 sentences minimum 15 sentences phrases from your side and comment it all right guys uh, so you know that right you have to make a 15 sentences to 20 phrases and comment definitely i'll respond now i just want to end here so hope you like the video thank you for uh, joining with me watching the video please subscribe share with your friend and uh, definitely guys comment all your work definitely i'll respond those who have not joined the whatsapp group please join immediately all right thank you